<laughs> Welcome everybody. We're back here. We're back to play some Walker. This this load screen takes forever. Oh my god, it takes too long. Ugh. All right, just it's almost there. We go. All right, here we go. Now the best way to appreciate this game, I believe, is um, well, you're gonna see a gentleman approach uh, your screen from the left. Just pretend. I like to pretend he's my boss. That always gets a giggle out of me. All right, so what are we doing today? We are driving this mech in arcade, um, arcade difficulty, F3, and uh, we're gonna shoot out some Nazis. Some white, privileged, male Nazis. This is something that everybody can come together and enjoy. We're gonna shoot them up, we're gonna kill them, we're gonna pump them full of lead, and um, we're gonna have a great time. Load screens are the only pain. This is a 93 game. It's actually like uh, one of the last games, I'd say, to come out for the Amiga while it was still popular. 93 was probably one of its last years, unfortunately. But, uh, but there you have it. And one thing about the Amiga, like, I was always thinking, you see the games, some games that were coming out during the back end of the Amiga, and... You can't help but think that it was trying to be, it was transitioning to those modern games that we see today, like first person shooter or just 3D elements. So what I'm getting, oh, 1944, so this is at the end. So what I'm getting at is, did we lose anything? I'm a big Amiga fan, but I've been struggling with the question like, if Amiga never died, what would be different? I don't know. I don't know. It's clear. It's a bit blasphemy, isn't it? So in this game, all you're doing um, is you have these guys in brown coats, grey coats, I am not colorblind, and uh, they're coming at you and they're trying to kill you. And then they're wheeling in some uh, artillery, which uh, goes right through the screen and does nothing. Doesn't matter. And um, good start so far, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, and you just got to shoot up these Nazis. Because, you know, Nazis don't deserve uh, anything. They don't deserve life. So, um, especially grey ones. Free and that, that bomb just got me. Alright, so you're in this mech in 1944. And can I just say, even for a Nazi game, I feel a bit slack for this game. Because the Nazis were defeated by now. So why was this mech at all necessary. Toast scumbags. Not game. What, why was this mission necessary? We're sending a mech in. And he looks like a puppy dog, doesn't he? Die, die. Freaking hell, man. <laughs> Here's one thing, Amiga Games. It's good to listen to these guys. Because I know aerial targets are coming. The one thing Amiga games never did... Oh, I actually got that plane. Is uh, they never had games with morale for their soldiers. Like, I mean, seriously. All these little guys coming up to this massive mech. And even on their own standing up to it. Sometimes it's better to run away so you can fight another day. I don't know. Alright, so very important when these things are pulling in artillery. If you shoot the truck before the artillery comes to the very edge of the screen, then he's in range of you. So you want to wait till the very end. There's some pro tip right there. Ah. Come on. You know how in law now, Take that guy out. I didn't, did I? Oh, no, I did. If you make a movie or even a game, you have to have like uh, different nationalities and different skin color. Um, like you got to have a black guy in there somewhere. Would they have a black guy here? Because they were Nazis, they didn't. They didn't have any black people in the army. They were very racist towards them, and they killed them all. Uh, okay, I don't know that last bit. That. They got rid of them, that's for sure. They killed a lot of people, I don't know about that last bit. Um, 
If anyone can correct me, please do, but uh, they certainly killed a lot of Jews. I'm doing this for all my Jew friends. Is this out of taste? I don't know. If I get fired from my, from my job tomorrow, I'll know if I went too far with the Nazi jokes. Again, let him go to the very end. Plus, I don't like killing horses. That's exactly right. Look at them running. They should be scared. Look at the size of me. I think he said ground target. Horses, let them go. Don't want to waste bullets. Ouch, man. So here's the thing, I want to talk about a little bit about um, assault rifles. Do you know who made the very, who were the guys that made the very first assault rifle ever? True assault rifle? Well, you wouldn't believe it, but it's actually the Nazis. They, at the back end of the war, against Hitler's direct instructions, they actually, in secret to Hitler that is, made, uh, with, were working on the first assault rifle. And uh, they noticed that during World War Two, well, here we go. F past the first mission. All right. Okay. Seriously. It's the same guy. You, you notice the recording. It doesn't sound like two different voices at all. I don't know why they did that. Come on, die. Oh my goodness. Die scumbags. Oh my goodness, they're really hot and heavy here. What were we saying? Yeah, the Nazis developed the first um, the first jet fighter. They developed the first um, assault rifle. They made a lot of developments. They really didn't want to lose the war. No need to kill them. Really, why should you kill them? Because they're Nazis. So. Um, after that, that was in 1943. So they, in World War II, as I was saying, um, they straight away when World War II started, what they did was they used all of World War One weapons, right, uh, firearms and all that, because they didn't, but better. The, their weapons were a little bit better, but very similar approach. So what they had is high-powered rifles, and these rifles could shoot a target a thousand meters away. That is. Uh oh, if more Nazis come out of that thing, that could be a problem. There we go. But they found, because in World War I, you needed high-powered rifles because you might see someone pop their head up from the trench, like up to a kilometer away, and you want to pick it off, right? But in World War II, they didn't fight in trenches like that. What they found was that they started fighting in urban warfare. So they had all these um, pistols that were machine guns, right? but they had no rifles that were machine guns. So the Nazis developed the first assault rifle um, uh, to make it ideal in an environment where the enemy is considerably closer um, than what they were in World War II. All right, I'm doing all right with my shields. Doing all right with my shields, sort of, kind of, maybe. Forget those guys, those peace shooters. Shouldn't do too much damage, come on. There we go, got one. Now World War II finished straight after uh, all these inventions that the Nazis were trying to... How much damage did this guy do? I just want to see. Man, what a waste of... should never target those guys, they don't do anything. Um, where was I? So World War II finished, right? Now, in a couple years after World War II, 
some guy, um, Kalashnikov, Mr. Kalashnikov by his name, developed the, f the second ever assault rifle, and that's the AK-47. So as soon as the war finished, he was in a hospital somewhere and developed the AK-47. And out came uh, the biggest, uh, most... Pro that gun, firstly, is unique design. He, he, Kalashnikov made his own design, right, with his team. Let's not uh, forget that. Um, I'm trying to kill these scumbags, one second. Come on, there we go. Uh, so he made his own design, and in today, even though that is the most, the AK platform is the most popular in the world in terms of rifles, the design is even more dominant. Let's see. She'll blow? Okay, I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Gotta focus on one truck or I'm gonna be dead. There we go. It gets too hard if you don't get at least one truck out of the way. Now, the M16 came many years later. Right? Now, when it was designed, I forgot the guy's name that designed it. When it was designed, the guy tried to then sell it to the American military and they would not have anything of it. So he had a lot of debts. He designed it for the military. It's a military grade weapon. And it's meant to kill people. What's the unique thing? Well, specific design for a rifle that is meant to kill people, like the M16, is that it's light and um, repetitive fire. Um, it's not that it's powerful. That's not what uh, makes it a killing machine. It's just that it's very usable in many different environments. Come on, there we go. Kill this guy. Very important. Okay, so it's very important to kill them because you want to be going back and forth now. This thing is going to start dropping bombs, and if you're not careful, it'll take half your health out. So he couldn't sell it once he made it, but he needed the money. He needed money. He was in massive debt, so he went to the public sector and sold it to them. Now, once he gave it to them, there we go. Ah, uh, danger! So, got him. I don't know, did I dodge that? I don't think so. I'm looking in pretty bad shape. Shield, critical. So he went to the civilians and they bought it. They actually started selling it and he was selling okay, I suppose. Um, and uh, they named it AR-15, right? Now the military, oh my God, how much did I get hammered there? The military later adopted it. Now because it was adopted in the army first, uh, sorry, in civilian use first, and then military, it got a different designation. Otherwise, it's the same gun. The only difference between the AR-15 and the a uh, M16 is, let's go run forward before I get bombed the shit out of me. There's a bomb. There's a bomb. Let's kill some of these guys. Freaking Nazis. I wish you could step over them, that would be so cool. So because the AR-15 was first got, went into the civilian use, it got a different designation when he, after it went to the... Uh, let's get this. That's it. Get out of there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that's why it's called different. Now the actual difference between the two rifles is only that the AR-15 does not have assault mode, like a full, fully automatic mode. And that is why it is not considered an assault rifle, just a regular rifle. All right. I can't move at all. It's bloody. So what makes an assault rifle an assault rifle? Let's see if I can get some of these guys before they kill me. I'm just waiting out the clock till this truck uh, runs out of bloody men, and they get sick of bombing me. Because these guys are really hurting. Oh man, that's hurting a lot.
Oh no, I'm in so much trouble. Let's keep going. I can't afford to be killed, man. I can't afford to take shots. Here we go. Here we go. This is the final bit. Here we go. I love this, actually. This, this looks so cool. Kill this rocket before it launches. I gotta kill these guys before they kill me. No, they got me. I almost did it. Oh, snap it. Oh, I want to finish him off. Oh, no. So anyway, the only di the the main thing that the two main things that a rifle needs to to have to be considered an assault rifle is firstly its charge, its bullet, it needs to be somewhere between the size of a pistol and a rifle, right? It can't be the size of a rifle because that's too powerful and has too much recoil. So what you uh, um, rifles that use a rifle bullet, right? Uh, with the fully, fully automatic uh, mode, which I'll get to in a second, um, they're called battle rifles, and you don't really hear about them ever, uh, all that much, because they're just so much recoil, you know, you, before long you're shooting, you find yourself shooting at a, at, you know, taking out aeroplanes instead of like an AA gun or something, instead of an actual uh, rifle. So because it's not practical and not very useful with, uh, with aiming, you know, it's not very popular. Whereas the assault rifle, it uses an intermediate charge, it is actually, it, it can, somebody can be trained to use it properly and make it quite uh, accurate and useful. Um, the other thing, like I said earlier, is it's got to have a, a fully, uh, fully automatic mode. If it doesn't have that, it can't be an assault rifle. In the United States, different countries classify them differently, but in the United States that is. So the AR-15 is not an assault rifle and is not even a powerful rifle. There are many rifles available that are more powerful than that. That's just basically information. I'm not actually picking any sides on this gun debate. I, uh, it's not for me to pick, right? I, um, I'm actually quite happy with uh, what uh, the gov my government has done. And um, yeah, yeah, I don't, uh, I'm, and uh, what Americans want to do is nothing but their own business. Take that out. Oh, that was a direct hit, wasn't it? Just about that. Really, the only thing that you want to do against these planes is take out that bomb. Because even if you kill them, they just keep coming. Come on, you scumbags. Look at it. Setting up camp right in front of me. Guys, I'm freaking a tower. Y you know you're not gonna... Look at your buddy next to you. He got slaughtered. Run away. Freaking blink. If it gets too much, just run ahead of him. For some reason, they can't shoot backwards. Take it out now. Now that's gone down. There we go. All right, I'm halfway my shields again. I think this is where I was last time. Okay, it's got to be. All right, let's keep going. Did all right there.
I had to go back to these guys. I'm not shooting that sniper because they don't do much, and these guys do. Oh man, I'm getting a little bit hammered, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> he felt like a lemming. <laughs> Which is also the company that made uh, this game. This is by, these are two massive companies that made it. It was Psygnosis and uh, DMA Design. Very big in their day. For the Amiga. Here we go. Alright, halfway. I can do, whoop, I can do this. Let's stay back. Here it comes. This is a good start. I've done some damage to this thing. Gotta start. I think you gotta start on the other one. You can't just stick with one. Come on, you scumbags! Oh my word! Come on, come on, come on! It's launching. Got it. Got it. She's going down, these Nazis are going down. Freaking being white male and stuff. Oh yeah! What, what, what? Feels good. Alrighty. One thing I'm, um... One thing I'm not too... I'm not too sure about this game, don't get me wrong, I really like it, right? Uh, other than the load screens, which take forever, is that it doesn't feel like a 93 game. It feels like a game back in the 80s, it's just, here we go, Los Angeles, 2019. How, this, this can seriously happen. It's only one year away, this this can happen, I, I don't know how they had the, the foresight for this. <laughs> they connected, they connected Nazis with Los Angeles. Which I, I think is actually extremely hilarious. Here's a, here's a funny fact. The Nazis were left-leaning. Uh, they were National Socialists. And now they're brown coats. Huh. Really, I, I've never gone past this level. So as far as I get with this mech, is, uh, is, is as happy as I'll be. Come on. These, uh, this technology they have next year is actually pretty good. Man, this thing is taking a few hits. There we go. Come on, bring it. I, li I like this. These helicopters are pretty cool. Um, they're useless, but if you just... You can keep shooting them, but they'll just drop themselves if they... Uh... And look at the wreckage, you still have to shoot the wreckage. They're actually a bit of fun. So that helicopter, that is crazy, dropped some landmines. Cool, cool, they're mixing it up, different units. But yeah, like I was saying, it's just, this does not feel like a bloody, what you call it, a 90s, 93 game. Like this is, in, in the league, like this game came out the same time as, uh, around the same time as, what do you call it, like Settlers and June 2 and Chaos Engine. There's a big titan of games, and uh, that, this freaking vehicle doesn't want to die, it just flips, it doesn't make any sense if you ask me. Alright, that's fine. Oh, here we go. I, I remember these guys as a young kid. Friggin, I didn't know what to, how to kill them, because if they get to the very top, uh, if they uh, climb to the very top of the mech, then they just blow it up, and it doesn't matter how many shields you got.
Freaking Los Angeles. So what? Are we killing Americans now? I didn't get it. Or are they trying to imply that the Los Angeles are supporting, like, uh, Nazis? That we're just killing them? Because all they've done so far is just change the color of the code. <laughs> it's such a weird game. It went from 1944 to 2019. I, I don't know why. Wow, 2019. This game came out in... 93. How much is that? 26 years? Wowzers. I played this 26 years ago. <laughs> wow. Seriously, this is a really tough game to finish in one go without, of course, without any cheats. Look at this technology. Damn it, can't do anything about that. Um. What did I just say? Eric Lee. Okay, see those guys how they're running in and running away? They're actually saboteurs. They're gonna climb on top of my Mac if they get too close. That's why they blow up. <laughs> Excellent. Freaking annoying this shit. Come on. You have to keep your mech moving, otherwise I'll be able to climb up on top of it. There we go. Got it. Come on! Too late. Alright, so I was... Earlier I was talking about... Oh god, I can't shoot this down. How... Why does some go through me? I didn't get that. Like, this does... Like I was saying, this does not feel like a 93 game. It feels like an 80s game because there's only one thing to do. Just left and right and... Um, shoot. It just... It's very simple and I, I would have expected a bit more. Maybe upgrade your mech or something like that. Even things like uh, there's no safe position. Come on. Let me just put a nice piece of. All right, let's take out this guy. That's enough. There's no save. You got to start from the very beginning every time, which is its biggest downfall, I reckon, because that's why I and a lot of others could never finish this game. Give me a break, this guy started launching already. There we go. My shields are shite. They just get back up and they start. <laughs> Stupid vehicles. They're like Humphies, I don't know. This is not how cars behave. And then just flip back up. Alrighty. Let this one go. Take this guy out. Take him out good. Well, I'm not quite a sharpshooter, am I? Uh, that's right, now I remember when I was 25 years ago when I was playing this game. Uh, those guys that climb on top of the mech, because I didn't know how to fight them, I actually just gave up. I, I just gave up, I stopped playing them. I didn't know about this m move your mech back and forth and just try and kill them as they swing around. There goes my shields. Get this guy at least. It may take my life. But, but that's actually everything. You, you took my life. And you'll take my freedom. These freaking Nazis in Los Angeles. When they, when they find all these bloody... Uh, I'm disabled. What happened? Alright, look, I think that's game. 
Oh, should I finish this life? Uh, I've actually got two more lives. I think that's game. We got the gist of it. I relived my youth. We all saw what this game is like. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, damn it, it's too hard. If anyone has finished it, tell me how they did it. Anyway, GG. Till next time.